right, check it out. You know it's COVID time. You know we don't want to catch it. You know it's Sunday. And our older folk, our loved ones, they want to go out into the world. They want to do a little more things. They might want to go worship at church today. But what do we do? Because we're not trying to catch the COVID ID. You know what I mean? The COVID-19. We're not trying to catch it. All right. So listen, what do you do? You stick around to the end of the broadcast because I'm going to tell you what to do. First of all, if you're with me early in the morning, I'd just like to say, how you doing? My name is Kion Church. I am the big hearted caregiver. Uh, what do I do? I help adult children with senior parents to become paid caregivers through our personal assistance service agency called Reliable Aid Inc. And uh, what I'm going to help you out with today is how you going to um, figure out these COVID-19 times that we in. But listen, before I get to that, if anybody on here with me would like to get started with the uh, Reliable Aid Inc. team, or you need a little help with your parents, you know, maybe becoming a paid caregiver, put it in the comments. All right, but we're going to keep moving forward because, you know, I like to give everybody this special COVID message at least once a week because I feel like it's very important. You know what I mean? And if you're with me today, stick around to the end because I got something very special for you. You know what I mean? That's going to help you out in these COVID times. So, look, I put together a, a special set of questions. See, I don't know. I'm, I'm like the guy, I, I, you know, I, I carry a lot of older people. A lot of older folk with me a lot, and everywhere we go, they, they sometimes ask good questions because they want to know your history real fast before you come in. See, it's 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 a it's a COVID time. You know, it, we, when you go outside, you got to have your mask on. It'd be good if you had some gloves on. You know what I mean? You want to wash your hands, keep that hand sanitizer as close to you as possible. But at the same time, at the same time, it's some valuable, valuable questions that if you're going to go into somebody else's presence, you need to be asking. So let's get right into that. Now, the number one question that I have found that's been the uh, the best worker for me, and, and a lot of other people use this question too, the number one question that you should ask somebody before entering into their home, domain, their dwelling, wherever you haven't been and they're at, the number one question that you ask is, has anybody in here been diagnosed with the COVID-19? Now, after you ask that, you want to be quiet. Because, listen, good question on the table. Now, what's the answer to that? Has anybody here been infected? No? Okay, Psh, let's move on. Question number two. Has anybody in here been told to quarantine? And then they're going to give you an answer to that. Hopefully, they're going to say no, because we're not coming in nowhere where they've been told to quarantine. That's crazy. We're going to go in there and get it. We ain't with that. You know what I mean? You got to keep mom safe. You got to keep pop safe. They want to go out, they want to do a little worship today. You know, some people do church in the parking lot. But I can't come into the residence unless I ask these questions. Now, look, this is the third question. You know what I mean? Some say it's number three, but I say it could easily be number one. You know what I mean? Real easy. Let me tell it to you because I want you to ask the next person today. This is a very special question before you enter in their home. What do you ask them? You say, hey, have you or anybody in the home experienced any symptoms of the COVID-19. See, the first question is, have you been diagnosed? They might say no. The second question is, have you been told to quarantine? They might say no. Okay, I need to know, is anybody in here coughing or acting crazy though before I get my pop in here, you feel me? We ain't coming in here, y'all, in there hacking and a whole lot of stuff because we ain't trying to take that home, you know what I mean? So I gotta ask them. Them are the three most valuable questions I got. Now, once I feel confident that, uh, you know, the place is clear, you know, or at least clear enough to me to go into. Now we're going to go ahead and enter. You know, we're going on and do our thing. You know, and you got to be careful. Just like, you know, I go places. Like when I go to the VA, they stop you out front. You know what I mean? I, sometimes uh, I go different places. They scan your head. They they, they, they they taking your temperature. They don't do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. It's rough out here. You know what I mean? A good friend of mine just caught the COVID less than uh, seven days ago. And I'm like, look, man, y'all got to buckle up out there. But it's all because people aren't being responsible and they're not telling each other these very important questions. So, look, take these three questions, make them into your own. You know what I mean? And guess what? You can have that. That's from the big hearted caregiver. Now, listen, I thought I had one with me. But Reliable Aid just got some new masks. And if you need one, drop it in the comments. Say, yo... Hit, matter of fact, hit me in the DM. Say, yo, KC, I need one of them new masks. And, and give me your address. You're a special listener, man. You're a big-hearted caregiver. I love to send you one. So I got that for you. 
Also, what I'm gonna need you to do is smash the wow face. Anytime you see Mr. KC on the web with this big hearted caregiver info, smash the wow face. You know what I mean? If you feel like taking care of people is a good thing. If you out here trying to get your blessings just like the big hearted caregiver, I'm gonna need you to uh, smash the wow face, let everybody know what's going on. Um, also, you can find me on anchor.fm forward slash the big hearted caregiver every day. I try to go through this big hearted caregiver message with the people who really are trying to best be able to take care of their loved ones. You know what I mean? Because that's what it's all about. We're giving back. We're giving back. We're giving back. So you've been taking care of your whole life. Now's your chance. You got to give back. You know what I mean? The people need you. You got a mom. You got a dad. They get getting older now. They need you. Let's put it together. Let's put our hands together and, and, and get as much help out as we can. So look, what I'm going to need you to do, put in the comments if you got any questions, you know, like and share the the, the, uh, the message no matter what uh, platform you're on. You know, catch us on uh, on YouTube. You can find us at Reliable Aid Inc. You know what I mean? I believe Miss Lou did. Just put it in the comments. That's excellent. Uh, listen, if you need me, Y'all know how to find me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Look, Reliable Aid Inc. is your home care professionals. You know what I mean? We take care of your parents just like they were ours because we care that much. I don't know where else you're going to get this kind of care for your parents. You know, you might need to uh, go to work. You might need to uh, go to school. You might need extra time in your life. But your mom and your dad are saying, hey, I need more help at the house. So, if you can't be the big hearted caregiver there, make sure you have one there. Call me, 302-689-3240. The number one thing I want to tell you, though, before I get off with you, don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of your parents is a bad thing. Because, look, we only here to get our blessings, all right? So, I love you. I'm going to catch you tomorrow. You know what I mean? Y'all going out today, do them church services. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Wear your mask. Don't hang out with nobody that's coughing. <laughs> Especially don't put nobody that's coughing in your car. You know what I'm saying? And make sure that you ask them them three questions before they get back in the back seat and they coughing all on your neck, all right? So, look, I love you. Don't be around nobody that's not going to be washing their hands and wearing their masks today, all right? Take it easy. Holler at me. Peace.